YouTube, it is Miko the Man Town here, and today I will be showing you how to make a Minecraft bucket server on a Mac. So, first of all, you're going to have to create a folder on your desktop. You're going to need to create a folder on your desktop, and you're, you're going to want to call it server or bucket server, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And next, you're going to want to go and download Craft Bucket. I will have the link in the description, just click the show more button, it should be down there. Um, the link will be under the word that says craft bucket. Um, so you're going to want to, once you get to this page, you're going to want to click the beta build. Once you click on that, you should start a download right here. Or if you're using a u newer version of, uh, or it, it doesn't really, it doesn't matter what version of Minecraft you are using. I'm using, I, I'm, I'm running 1.5.2 right now. And, um, and if, there, if you're using a newer version, if, if this uh, video is a little bit old, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't, I don't think it really matters, but... So yes, you're going to want to download the beta build, and, and if, you're, if you are running a newer version of Mac, it should be up here, or I don't know if it's down here or something, but yeah. And then, uh, so once, you, once you're in your downloads, you're going to want to click the little magnifying glass right next to your craft bucket download, pay, little, download little bar. You're going to want to click the magnifying glass. And then uh, your downloads should come up. And then you're going to want to drag this into your your server folder. So once you do that, I'm just going to close my downloads. I can, there we go. And uh, so go into your server folder, and then you should have Craft Bucket right here. You're going to want to rename that to just Craft Bucket without the line, whatever, uh, whatever you're running. You're just going to make it or you can delete the you can delete most of the name and if you do not how to make it so that you can edit the name you can just click on the actual thing and then just click on the words and this should come up or if, if that doesn't work right click on it and go to get info and then go to name and extension and you can edit the name over here so yeah there so after you do that, you're gonna want to you can you can close this if you want it, and um, <clears throat> I will also have this in the description. Uh, there there should be a code for you for your text edit. You're gonna, well first of all you're gonna want to open up text edit. You're just gonna open up a new or and if you can't find text edit, uh, you just search it inside your spotlight and you search up text edit and it should be or it should be your top hit. You're going to want to click on that, and then a little page over here should come up. You're going to want you to, let's say, let's just pretend that this is the description. This should be how the description will look. You're going to want to drag over this little code right here. Just drag it over with your mouse, and you're going to want to right-click on it. Click Copy, and then go into your text edit, and then click Paste. Once you do that, you're going to want to go to your format, which will be up here. Click Format, then click Make Plain Text, and then OK. And then it should look like this. After that, you're going to want to, or you can click the Save As button over here in File, or you can just click the little red button, and then you can click Save. And then you're going to want to name it anything, but it has to be dot .command. So I'm just going to name it Start.command. But it has to be a dot .command file, or else it will not work. So once you do that, it should be set to your desktop, and uh, it should be on your desktop, and your start document should be on your desktop, or whatever you called it, dot command, and then you're just going to want to drag that into your server folder. Once you do that, you should open up your server folder, and you should have craft bucket and start dot command, not the old craft bucket with all those other words, just craft bucket. And then, so after that, you can close this, or no, keep it open, keep it open, and then you're going to want to open up terminal. Now, terminal... Um, you can find it in your spotlight too. Just click the little magnifying glass on the top right spot of your screen. And you're going to want to search up Terminal. T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L. Terminal. Um, so, that's how you spell it. And then, you know, it should be your top hit, Terminal. You're just going to want to click on Terminal. And then, this should open up. Just let it load a little bit. And there we go. So, um, so you're going to want to type in C-H-M-O-D space A plus X. I will also have this in the description. I don't know if you can copy and paste it. Uh, yeah, you, I, think, I, I think you can. But you can just type it in. Just look at it. Type it in. So it's C-H-M-O-D, C-H-M-O-D, A plus X. 
and then make sure that you have a, sp a space after a plus x that is very very important or else it will not work after you do that you see this little line over here i don't know what it'll look like on yours maybe it'll just look like this how it like flashes like that but for mine it just has this little rectangle right here you're going to want to drag your start dot command right in front of this little I don't know, like right in front of this little rectangle, and then you're gonna want to click return or enter. Once you do that, you can close your terminal, and then if you want to label this red, because I'm gonna I'm gonna label that red because it's important, and then just double click on your start command, and this should open up, and your server should start to, to load. And you see, it's starting to load. There you go. And it'll just start generating generating your spawn area, so your world. And you have your plugins folder and everything. I do have a I do have a uh, a YouTube video on how to get plugins for your Minecraft server. If you want, you can check that out. If you did not how, know how to get plugins, and I'm gonna also show you how to import a world onto your uh, Minecraft server right after this finishes loading. Alright, uh, all right, but for now, um, just I'm going to tell you that the plugins, uh, how to get plugins will be in the description if you want to see how to get the plugins. There's, it's, there's, it's, there's some really cool plugins. There's World Edit, Essentials. World Edit, basically, you can, like, edit your world. You can add, uh, you can make houses with it. You can make, like, walls, anything you want. Basically, you can dig out holes if you don't want to do it by hand. And then there's essentials. It comes with a bunch of essential commands. It's really cool, and it's done loading. So after that, instead of clicking this button right here, you don't want to click that button right there. You want to type in stop. Or, and if you want to op yourself, you can do op. My name is Miko the Man, so I'm going to op Miko the Man, and I am opt. So uh, once you do that, you're going to want to click stop or type in stop sorry and then hit return and it just says console stopping the server and uh... just saving the chunks and it is finished alright and then after after that you're just gonna wanna click the X button the big red button and then uh and yeah so you have your server over here and uh so basically if you want to import a new world or add people to your ops list but first thing i'm gonna i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you open up your server properties you can double click on it or right click on it and click open so i'm gonna open it up and if it if you don't if it says that it doesn't know what to open it with you're just gonna want to click open with text edit or it'll t ask you where you, what you want to open it with you're gonna want to look for text edit and then just click it with that so here's your little server that properties over here this is where you can edit all of your uh, server little uh, settings so let's say if you want to allow the nether you can click true or you can delete true and, and false if you do not want the nether you can do this with every everything now allow nether I'm gonna do it true because I like the nether sometimes and then uh, you can set your level type. You can set the server port. And just keep it like that. You're going to want to keep everything the way it is. If you want to allow people to fly with their hacks or their mods, then you can allow flight, false. Or if you want them to, if you want to allow it, you can just take out false and make it true. But I'm going to put it on to false. Uh, force game mode, false. Level seed, you can you can set the seed for your server. PV tree, P, ah, PV tree, PVP. I'm gonna put on true. That's if you if you want if people can get hurt from other players. Online mode, but that's basically if people have a cracked account or uh, or if they um if they don't have an account and they log on as player. Online mode, I think you would put it on to false. And then uh, texture pack. I, and then hardcore modes, you can turn on hardcore mode. You can spawn animals. If you do not want to spawn animals, you're just going to want to put that onto false. You, max build height over here. Spawn NPCs, so that is like villagers. You can spawn NPCs. And uh, and then over here, view distance. And then generate structures, so that's like builder or buildings. You have your, uh, your temp jungle temples, all that stuff. You have your, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
sand temples, villages, that, that's that's what the structures are. And then spawn monsters, true, max players, you can change your max players to how many players you want to set the max. And then game mode, game mode zero survival, if you want to make it creative, you can set your game mode to one, but I'm going to keep it on survival. And then, uh, you, and your mod D is basically under your server name. Uh, you see how you, you, you if you if you ever notice it'll say it'll you can you can put whatever you want under your actual server like your server description that's that's what it is so you can call it like your your Minecraft server so Miko's Miko's Minecraft server it's it's really cool but yeah I'm just gonna keep it Minecraft server but you can make it whatever you want. And uh, so yeah, so once you do that, just uh, you're gonna if you change anything, you're gonna want to click the red button, or you can also click as you know, as I told you, file, then save as. But I'm gonna click this button right here, then click save, and then you'll have that. And if you want to add people to to your ops, you can you can open just start up your server and then op and then type in op and then their name. But if you do not want to do that, you can just open up your server ops dot or your ops dot text and double click. And then I'm opt right here. Or if I want, I can opt my friends. So you just click. Let's say my friend's name is the guy. Under Miko the man, you're gonna want to click return or enter, and then type in the guy. If that whatever whatever the guy's name is. But yeah, so that is how to make a Minecraft server on a Mac. I will have a. I will add a. Um, how to import your survival worlds onto your server. I will have that. I will have the link to that video in the description once I make it. And uh, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a lot of fun on your server. Um, oh, and you will also need Hamachi for this video, so, or to get onto your, for, you, you'll need people to join Hamachi to get onto your server. If you want to port forward your server, I will have a video on how to port forward it. It's my way on how to port forward it. It's quick, and it's easy, but that, uh, that, that's my way of port forwarding my servers. I don't know if it's 100% safe to port forward your server, but if you want people to come onto your server uh, without having to join a Hamachi network, I have a video on how to get Hamachi on a Mac, so you can watch that video. I will also have that video in the description too. And so, thank you for watching my, uh, my video. And I hope you have a great day and a great time on your server. And I think I said that two times. Thank you for watching.